Hello everyone, here's a question from square and square root. Find the smallest number by which 1152 must be divided so that it becomes a perfect square. Also, find the number whose square is the resulting number. So they're asking two things. One is we have to find out the smallest number to be divided so that this 1152 will become perfect square. And then later, after dividing with that smallest number, we have to find out its square root. So first we're going to find out what is the smallest number. So whenever you see this type of question where they're asking smallest number to be divided or multiplied, in that cases you have to use a prime factorization method. We're going to prime factorize this number and we're going to see which number, which prime factor is extra here. So let's start this. So we have 1152. This number is an even number. So I'm going to start with the 2. 2 is an even prime number. We're using a prime factorization method. So take only prime numbers. So this will be 2 5s are 10. 1 will be the remainder. I'm going to put this along with 5. That will make the number 15. So 2 7s are 14. Again 1 is a remainder. I'm going to keep this along with 2. That makes the number 12. So 2 6 are 12. So this is how I do the prime factorization. If you have your own way of doing it, you can go ahead and you can do it. Now in case you doesn't understand this, you can just divide this 1152 by 2. You will get 576. Then the next step. We, again it's an even number. So I'm going to take 2 here. 2 2 is a 4. 1 is a remainder. Keep this along with 7. That makes the number 17. 2 8 is a 16. So 1 is a remainder. That makes the number 16. Again 2 8 is a 16. We have 288 which is again even number. So go with 2. 2 1 is a 2. 2 4 is a 8. 2 4 is a 8. Again this number is even number. Again I am going to take 2. So 2 7 is a 14. And 2 2 is a 4. We got 72. Again again uh, like to just take 2 here. 2 3 is a 6. 1 is a remainder. I am going to keep this along with 2. That makes the number 12. 2 6 is a 12. We got 36 which is again even number. So go with 2. 2 1 is a 2. 1 is a remainder. I am going to keep this with 6. That makes the number 16. So 2 8 is a 16. Now we got here 18. So 2 9 is a 18. Now 9 is a odd number. So I will take the next prime number which is 3. So 3 3 is a 9. And the last 3 is a prime number. So 3 1 is a 3. Now once we have written this, we have to take all these prime factors what we have got. And then we are going to rewrite this once again. So 1152 is equal to I write down all these factors you got. So we got lot of 2's here. Just let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We got 7 2's and 2 3's we got. So this will be 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So we got here 7 2's and 3 2's we have got. Okay. So once you have written this again, like whatever factors you have got, once you have written this, we have to start pairing up. Remember the perfect square number, we're going to have a proper pairing. There will be no extra prime factors which will be left out. So you can see this is forming one pair. This is one pair. This is one pair. This two is single. It doesn't have any, it, there's no two to form a pair. And this three is in pair. So this two is in a extra prime factor we have got now the question here is find the smallest number by which this number should be divided so if i remove this two from here you can see that the factors will be in a proper set right it will be in a set of two so that is we have going to have a proper pairing then this number can become perfect square perfect square number we are going to have a proper pairing if its number is not perfect square you can see in this example we got one extra number here an extra factor here so if this i remove this two then the number will become perfect square so what is the smallest number to be divided it will be two so let me conclude the answer here first the first answer therefore two is the smallest number to be divided so that was the first answer now they're asking other question that what we should like we have to find out the answer now like i said we have to divide this with two so i'm going to divide two on both the sides so you cannot divide only on one side of the equation you should do it on both the side of the equation so if i do this it'll look like we have 1152 
I am dividing this with 2 here on other side we have again write this factors once again so this will be third pair and then we have this extra 2 and then we have 3 into 3 this I am going to divide with 2 so you should divide 2 on both the sides you can cancel 1 2 here and here you can cancel 2 1 1152 2 1s are 2 2 5s are 10 1 is a remainder 2 7s are 14 and then we got 6 576 we got so 576 is equal to let me rewrite this so 576 is equal to write down the remaining numbers remaining uh, numbers you got on the right hand side which is 2 into 2 and then 2 into 2 2 into 2 and 3 into 3 now if you form a pair here you can see there will be a proper pairing this is forming a one pair this is one pair this is one and this is one now you can see that 576 is a perfect square number and the factors are in a proper pairing here now the question is find out the square like we have to find out whose square it is whose square means we have to find out the square root of this number so when you find out the square root of 576 so square root of 576 will be so it's very easy from this each set or the each pair just pick one one factor so from here I'll take one two from this you take one more two from this you take one two and from the last set you take one three now multiply them so it will be 2 2 is a 4, 4 2 is a 8, 8 3 is a 24. So square root of 576 will be equal to 24. So that's it. I hope this question is clear. In case you have any question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.